Now, this may be a big ask, but I want to see what you would do. I'm going to play an actual scenario for you, one that happened to me just the other day, and I want to see what you would do. What decision would you make? I'm going to set it all up for you. I'll play the video, and it'll stop right at that decision point, and I want to find out from you what you will do. All you have to do is watch the video. So let me set this up for you. I was in the pattern getting footage for another video, and when I started, there was no one else around. I was only going to do about seven or eight landings and get the footage I need and then call it a day. After I was up for about three laps, it started to get a little busy, and then all of a sudden, like bees, they all came out at once. Another aircraft, with an obvious student pilot, flew in and joined the left pattern on runway 5. Then glider operations started departing from runway 1 and parachute operations began departing from runway 1 and landing on 1-9. The wind was 060 at 9 to 12, favoring runway 5. The parachute and glider operations always stay on runway 1, 19 regardless of the wind. As I was downwind for runway 5, the caravan parachute operator gave a vague radio call, and it wasn't clear what he was going to do. As I was turning final, I passed a glider that was downwind for runway 19, and I had passed him with plenty of time to touch and go, and I had a visual on him. And he also made a radio call stating his intentions. So now all you have to do is watch the video. Uh, caravan is departing five. We will be getting into the pattern for a landing on one nine Zebra Hill. This is Zebra Hills traffic, Cherokee one five zero six Tango is turning cross one runway five, Zebra Hills. Zebra Hills traffic, two two one Frankie is turning left base for five, Zebra Hills. Uh, firm, have a nice flight. Zebra Hills traffic, ladder 7, Whiskey Whiskey's on the 45 for a right downwind runway 19, Zebra Hills. Zebra Hills traffic, Cherokee 1506 Tango is turning downwind for runway 5, Zebra Hills. Zebra Hills traffic, 221 Frankie's turning final for 5, Zebra Hills, we have glider in sight. Zebra Hills traffic, caravan's turning a base to final 19, Zebra Hills. Got the caravan inside, I'll be number two behind you. Or actually number three. This is Everhills traffic, Cherokee 1506 Tango is turning base for runway five, Zebra Hills. Zebra traffic, glider, seven whiskey whiskey turning right base, runway one nine. Don't see the caravan. That's right, abort your takeoff. Caravan is going to be circling over top of the trailer park to the side of land. Yeah, Roger, we got you. So what's the lesson here? Stay on top of your game. Always stay ahead of the airplane and know what you are going to do next. And always be prepared for any type of evasive or emergency action. Zephyrils traffic, 221 Frankie's clear, runway 5, Zephyrils. All right, so... I had to abort Zephyr that. Traffic, Cherokee 1506 Tango is turning final for runway 5, Zephyr Hills. I had to abort that. Uh, the glider whiskey, whiskey is on final over the numbers, runway 19, Zephyr Hills. I had to abort that uh, departure because there was a twin honor on final for 19 and a glider on final for 19. And as I looked up, they were heading into each other. The twin honor had. Um, uh, turned and done a rather evasive turn and the glider was uh, coming in as gliders up right away. Quiet airports can become busy in a flash and events that you don't think are likely are usually the first ones to happen. So be prepared. Anyway, I hope you like it. I hope you learned something. And remember, if you are over 50, get up and get in the air. Thanks for watching.